Hi, I'm Chris from Study Active, a PT and Assessor. And I'm Colin uh, from Study Active, PT and Assessor. We're going to have a little look at the um, Romanian deadlift or straight leg deadlift. People call it yeah. whatever they want. Um, it's similar to a deadlift, but we don't take that weight it's quite so low. We don't have such a bend in the knees, um, but it is similar. We've got relatively lightweight set up on the bar. Um, Let's do a demo. Yeah. And it hits more the through. posterior chain, so your hamstrings, brings in your hamstrings more. Yeah. Um, and, and not your quads. Yeah, so yeah, your, your quads are, are left out a lot less, le less than the quads. Uh, quick reference first, though, although it's called a, a straight leg deadlift, uh, they're definitely not going to be straight. I don't know what you can see on the camera angle, but they're going to stay nice and soft. They're going to stay nice and soft. They're not locked out, which is going to cause a lot of problems on your meniscus, particularly if you've got straight legs and you're using weight um, any, any, any weight with the knees, knees locked. So they're not going to be locked. They're going to be athletically bent uh, or whatever other term you want to use, but not locked out. Super. Okay, I'll do a demo first. Walk around, have a, have a watch, um, Colin. I'm going to pick it up from the floor. The other way you can do this, you can put it on a rack, uh, and you can have the bar already elevated to the height that you want to use. Uh, but we're going to use the floor because not everybody's got access yeah. to it. Well, we could a, have a platforms underneath. Platforms yeah, is yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we could have a car jack at each end, couldn't we? Yeah. We, could, <laughs> <laughs> we could do something. But we're going to do the basic one because you're more likely to have access to this in a gym or, a, or at home. So feet uh, facing forward, nicely facing forward, feet under the bar, push your hips back. We're going to take the bar, safe picking up as we always do. And again, I'm going to use that um, pronated grip. So we pick the weight up nice and safely. And we start from the top with this one. Shoulders back and down, core engaged, so those ribs in. Um, and on an exhale, we're going to lower. We're going to push the hips back. Take it down as far as it's comfortable for you. I'm going to take it to mid chin and then drive up. So we're going to lower down, keeping that bar really close over the knees. Mid chin's about right for me. And then drive up. I'll do a couple of silent. Okay, to put it down, push your hips back, lower it down, bend the legs more this time, all the way to the floor, and then back up. Same as with the deadlift, the shoulders stay over the bar, um, the hips stay back, and we get that posterior chain working. Okay. So, when you're ready, Col. And you can see Colin's nice and close to the bar. His feet are directly under the bar, shoulders are directly over. Super, nice and strong. He's going to start from that top position. Really nice. We can see he's got a neutral spine. There's just a natural arch in there. We can see his core's engaged. Those ribs are pulled in. His hips are nice and level. Shoulders are nice and level. Really good. And he's looking probably about sort of six or eight feet in front of him. Cervical spine's nice and neutral. His whole back's nice and neutral. Really nice movement. Nice and slow on the way down. And a little bit quicker on the way up with a hold and a nice tall stand at the top. Good, I'll let you count. Is that it, Cole? It's eight. Eight, and then we're going to push your hips back all the way to the floor. Super good. How is that? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, you really feel it in your hamstrings. Like I said, it's uh, hitch hamstrings more than the traditional deadlift. Yeah. Uh, it needs a lot of control on the way down. So really, uh, really feel your core. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of core engagement. Yeah, imagine there, you've got a there. cylinder around. Yeah, and it's a you know a great hinge movement. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, think of that core engagement, that cylinder that Colin's referring to. Your transverse abdominis that goes all the way around. Easy way to activate it. Put your fingers on your ribs. Pull those ribs in, and that tightness you can feel here. That's your TVA engaging. So throughout this whole movement, you want those ribs pulled in. That TVA engaging. Better than a belt, isn't it? Yeah. Body's natural weightlifting belt. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. Thank you.